Now, let's look at the third basic function containing radiation. Nuclear reactors are built with multiple barriers to safely contain radiation. At the heart of all can-do reactors are hardened ceramic pellets made of natural uranium. These pellets contain the radiation. They form the first layer of containment. The pellets are contained in rods, which form the second layer of containment. Can-do fuel rods are made of zerk alloy, a metal alloy extremely resistant to heat and corrosion. The rods are then loaded into pressure tubes, which are part of the heat transport system. This is the third layer of containment. The pressure tubes are contained inside a metal tank called the calandria, which itself is contained inside a thick vault made of reinforced concrete. The fourth layer of containment is the building that houses and protects the reactor. The walls of the reactor building are made of at least one meter of reinforced concrete. The reactor building is surrounded by a one kilometer exclusion or buffer zone. All plants are equipped with high efficiency filters. These filters are used as part of the operation to minimize radioactive releases from nuclear power plants. These releases occur as part of normal activities like system maintenance. Filtering systems are regularly inspected and power plant operators must, by law, report all radioactive releases into the environment. In the unlikely event of an accident, safety systems are in place to protect the containment from internal pressure due to steam releases inside the reactor building. In a single unit station, internal pressure would be lowered by spraying water from a dousing tank. In a multi-unit station, pressure would be lowered by releasing steam and hot gases from the reactor building to the vacuum building. The vacuum building is a structure specifically designed to quickly and safely lower pressure inside the reactor building. This building also has a dousing system to control pressure. The vacuum and dousing systems work without power and are tested periodically under the supervision of inspectors of the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission.